Hi, I'm Kathleen Heffernan, author of the Bikini Model Cookbook, and this is Fitness Model Lifestyles. Today we have Andrea Smith with us from Get Ready Girls. I've been in Inside Fitness, Fit and Firm, the Hot and Fit 100 three times. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, so that three was three times. That was really exciting. Not very many people can say that. Yeah, I I had a good three years, <laughs> but uh, three times, and I was very thankful, and that was a very awesome experience for me. So did you ever have a time like after a competition did you ever do any like extra waking? I know like, this happens oh, a lot with of course. Everybody fluctuates. Everybody like and I'm as Caitlin mentioned, I'm a trainer and I've trained many women for shows. And it's funny because first of all it depends who trains you. Um, if you're doing everything, you know, all natural with not very much water manipulation and sodium manipulation, your rebound should not be more than ten pounds within that week post show. It shouldn't be. If it is more than that, then I think, in my opinion, you over it or you were really starved from calories and mm -hmm. or water manipulation was something out of whack because I'm sure you look great show day, but for me, the goal is to look great year round. Yeah. If what keeps you motivated to keep on keeping on? My clients. Uh, I really, really feel that just having people um, message me daily being like, look, I, I look up to you, um, you know, you're an inspiration to me, and I'm literally sitting there being like, oh, I just had pizza yesterday, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and it, yeah, it's, 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 it keeps me motivated because I think of like, okay, well, what would, I, I do this thing now where, um, if I want to eat something or if I want to, like, I'm saying, I'm talking like if I want to, like, eat a pizza or if I want to have ice cream, I think, like, okay, I try to talk to myself as a trainer. So I'm like, what would trainer Andrea say to client Andrea? I know it sounds crazy, but it actually helps. <laughs> How often would you have a cheat meal? Or, let's, I don't like to use the word cheat. Uh, yeah, treat. treat. <laughs> yeah. How often? Uh, depends. Um, close to show. I had a treat meal two weeks out, um, so now I haven't had one for two weeks, which is longer than I would ever go without a treat in my off-season. Um, off-season, I'm not kidding when I say I do, I have a treat like two, three times a week. I really think that um, you should be able to have on almost a daily basis something that you really like. As long as you find what works for you and what time you can eat it at and what mm -hmm. you need to do for exercise to compensate, you should be able to eat pretty much whatever you want within reason. Mm -hmm. A week out I am in depletion which is very high protein and higher fats and very low carbs so um, my week out which was just a few days ago um, was a quarter cup of couscous in the morning. Mm -hmm. Don't ask, I love couscous over oatmeal so I just have couscous <laughs> um, and egg whites and then I had um, chicken and vegetables and maybe another couscous meal. And then I had um, basically tilapia and vegetables, chicken and vegetables, and then two couscous meals, or you could have oatmeal and yams or something like that. Like just lower carb, like only two small carb meals as opposed to like four or five, which I would normally have. And so in the off season you have yeah. like four or five? Yeah, like four or five small ones, which in the end I think it only equals out to about 100 and something grams of carbs anyways. Mm -hmm. So that's still fairly low for I think the average person. but. It's a lot for me. Yeah, I know what you mean. I do about the same. Yeah. How far do you cut fruit out of your diet when you're doing a photo shoot or a I don't. I don't. Um, except for the week out, I think. Like, I had fruits literally up until my week out. I had blueberries or an apple at least. 
very least. I don't think that you should have to cut fruit. Be honest. Do you like tilapia? Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't. I don't like it, but I eat it, if that makes sense. Like, I like it with this certain Mrs. Dash seasoning that's super lemony. Can't even taste that it's fish. That's why I like it. <laughs> so, no, I do not like tilapia at all. Tell us about your business. Okay. So I started Get Ready Girls um, Winnipeg based to be boot camps and to be training programs for women. And so I do have boot camps and in-person trainers in Winnipeg. Basically, I think one of the best things you can ever do for yourself is hire a trainer. I'm not just saying that. That's mm -hmm. the best thing I ever did. Yeah, me too. Yeah, and, and mm -hmm. a good trainer, someone who teaches you things so you don't have to experiment for years and then figure out what's right for you. Your trainer has years of experience and already knows, like, okay, based on these facts and based on things I've seen in other bodies with people similar, this will probably work for you, and nine times out of ten, they're right. That is what happened to me and that's what I'm trying to do to other women and my main focus is in fitness right now is to train women to live healthier lifestyles. I love my job, I love what I do and you're so good on stage. Oh thank you. Yeah, this girl kills it. <laughs> thank you.